it's learning time. And this time we're learning about CVTs, the continuously variable transmission, reviled by automotive enthusiasts the world over. And yet as an engineer, I think it's a fascinating idea. You have an input shaft and an output shaft, just like any other transmission. And through this belt and these cones, you can have a variable continuously set of gear ratios by changing those diameters. And as we know, gear ratios is the ratio of the teeth and or diameter that you have of an input and an output. That matters because engines have a peak efficiency at a certain RPM on a fuel consumption curve. We also see that in the RPM versus torque or RPM versus horsepower. Why does that matter? Well, because this equation exists. Velocity equals NE times pi times RW divided by 30 times IX times IO, where RW is the radius of the wheel, something that is fixed. IX is the transmission ratio. Hmm. IO is the differential ratio, something that's also fixed. And NE is the engine speed. Well, if you need a specific engine speed to get a peak efficiency or a peak power, and you can't change this and you can't change this, then the only thing you have left is this. Traditional transmissions have fixed gear ratios. This is from a Corvette C7. CVTs, on the other hand, can be nearly infinite. And for that reason, a CVT is going to be best for peak efficiency, but potentially even peak power. 